What's up guys? You're welcome to David Data Channel once again where we talk about data science, productivity and faith. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and also click the like button so you can so you can be notified once the next video comes up on your timeline, right? Really, it really helps the algorithm. So I'm really trusting and expecting that you're going to hit that subscribe button. All right, so in this video, we're going to be continuing our SQL tutorial series. We've done the um, beginner series, the intermediate series, and now we're starting the advanced series. We're going to talk about things like subqueries, CTEs, stem tables, do some practice questions, window functions, and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we're going to do an SQL end to end project at the end. So, guys, let's hit the ground running. If this, you're just joining us right now, I'm going to put the link above for the beginner and the intermediate so you can check out other things and um, follow up with the training so right now i'm going to take my face off the video so you can have full view of my screen yep yep all right thanks guys okay so today we're going to talk about the sub queries right the sub query uh -huh. so the sub query is almost like your cte uh, called common table expression. How does your sub query work? Your sub query, uh, you have it's like a query within the query, as it's called sub, it's a query within a query. So, we're using that um, data sets we used earlier on, and um, we use it to, to look at how sub queries work. Okay, so let's see, I want to return return employees who work in offices located in USA all right so there are two ways to go about it the best really the best way to do your um, sub queries is to actually write down the first query that's your smaller query and then continue from that points write the other one on top so we want offices we want employees who are who have office located in usc so first of all we need to get the office code of offices that are in usc so we're going to say select office code from from office from offices where country is equal to USA let's run this and see what we have all right so these are the office codes from offices where the country is USA but that's not what we want we want employees who work in these offices so we'll just um, use a where clause within this query and this becomes our sub query right and so we'll say select last name be sure um, spelling this properly last name yes okay small letter for the L last name first name from employees table employees from employees table is there an S? Yes, there's an S. From employees table, where office code in we add this of our sub query <coughs> and we close our brackets. Let me polish this so it can look well. There should be a comma. There shouldn't be a comma here. Okay. Okay. Select first name, last name from employees, where office code in or where office code is in the office codes we have selected from offices where the country is USA. So let's run this query. Yeah, so we see the first name and the last name of employees who work in offices located in USA. This is how your sub query works, right? It's really that, like that. So let's say we want to 
return customer with highest payment. Want to return customer with the highest with the highest payment. Okay, so what do we do? We want to return customer with the highest payment. Customer, yeah, the name with the highest payment. So we join these two tables. Um, we're not using the join, we're using the subquery. So like you could use a join, you could use a subquery. In this case, we're using the subquery. Uh, the common columns or a primary key for the customer is customer number with a secondary key for payment table. Yeah. So what are we going to do in this case? We're going to want the max highest amount. So let's get the highest amount. Select max amount um, from let's say from payment table. Let's run this and see. Okay, it gives us the maximum amount. Um, about one hundred and twenty thousand one six six point five is ask maximum account. But then we want the customer with the highest maximum amount. So we embed this within our sub query and then filter by that using our operator. So we're going to say select customer name. Select um, the check number. amount from payments is it small letter or capital letter small letter from payments mm -hmm. where amount is equal to our sub query so let's run this and see what we have Unknown column customer name does not exist in payments. Okay, let's join here. When I join, let's call this P. In a drawing customer C on C dot C dot customer number on C dot customer number equal to P dot customer number. Let's run this and see. Yeah. So it gives us the customer name, the check number, and the amount. We have to add a join to pull out the customer name from the customer table and then we use our subquery to filter for the maximum amount for that customer well i hope this is getting interesting for you as it is for me well personally i don't get to use subquery very very often i prefer to use cte's common table expressions uh we'll look at that in, in the next video yeah but for now let us like let's let's, let's exhaust our subqueries so let's say we want to Want to find customers? Want to find customers whose payments? Let's say want to find customers whose payments are greater than the average than the average payment. So let's say we know that. Let's say select an average amount and the average amount. Select average amount as average. From payments. Okay, this is the average amount. So we want to select customers whose payments are greater than the average amount. So we could we could use the same format we use there. So I'm just going to um, copy this query here. 
and I'm just going to place it here and then we say greater than and then I put this here and then I put this here and then let's run this query and see what we have yep yeah we got it so it gives us all the customers who payments are greater than the average amount yeah with your check number yeah awesome awesome beautiful 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 so we're gonna move on we'll do like maybe one or two more examples all right so let's say we want customers who have not placed any orders let's say we want customer let's say we want customer who have not placed any order so how do you get customers who have not placed any order uh so let's get all the distinct um customer number from other tables so we can go to the other other table and get all the distinct uh, customer number from the others table so let's see select distinct customer number from orders table all right so these are the distinct about 98 rows distinct customer number all right yeah we want customers who have not placed an order so we have in other words we have we now have customers who have placed orders or we'll want customers who have not placed orders so we can use the not in uh, logical operator so we can say mm -hmm. cost select customer name let's say select um, customer name from customers where customer number customer number not in our sub query easy right so it's, it's a logical thing okay then it says you have an error in your center so let's uh where customer name so what's the challenge okay there should be there should be there should be no comma here yeah so let's see let's run this uh, uh an error again classic one of the customer does not exist okay table should be customers so this is how you debug your query so oftentimes your first running may not be correct and then you debug and get your answer so we have customer names who have not placed any orders about 24 of them interesting so as a sales rep you want to pull up on these customers this is how you just pull up customers who have not placed any order really interesting using the sub queries there are other ways you could approach this problem but then this is one of the ways you could approach this problem using the sub query all right so that'll be all for this video so continue the next video with the CTEs. All right, thanks guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Cheers.